Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where you join me on a lovely summer's day in London. Today is going to be a good day, it's going to be even better because I have a very cool car directly behind me and on cue, on cue, well, who is this? on cue, my friend James has just got this all new Land Rover Defender, I have the V8 from Land Rover themselves, the all new 530 from Land Rover for the next week. And we thought we'd do a bit of a comparison. So, that was on cue. Unreal. And on time. Unreal. Unreal. Came, it, came, came, came very colorful, not just the jacket. Yes. You'll see about that later in the video. Why? What? What are you on about? <laughs> Oi, literally just came from my desk. You said, let's film a video. I said, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Mate, we don't mess around. Now talk us around what we I've have. come with 130% energy today. Your viewers are going to hate yeah, you. Yeah, they're going to hate you. Uh, this is the latest addition to the garage. Okay. Um, I don't know what you said and what you haven't said. Do you want me to, to talk or not? I've not said anything. Tell me to shut up if I need to. Okay. Used to it. <laughs> Might end up with no tea. <laughs> tea. Right. Um, this is my all new yes. Defender 90, as you probably guessed. But yeah. it's not any old Defender 90. This is completely customised and I'm sure we'll go into it in detail. But this is a one of one. It's a company called Apache that I came across, actually, Dean, Dean DMB Collection. Yes. Introduced me to them, and I just got goaded into it because I was like, this is mega. And I actually shared the car with my girlfriend, which will explain a bit more about the interior choice that we'll come on to, okay. and the number plate. Yes. It's a, it's a, for all intents and purposes, it's a Defender 90 underneath it. I've gone for a sensible diesel engine, as you know, I had the V8 before. Yeah. Brilliant, but really thirsty and just didn't really warrant the fuel, didn't really care if I went quick and I just wanted to be comfortable. Right. And was massive. And I've still got the Range Rover, so I was like, Defender 90 is perfect. And I think it just looks. I mean, those lights at the top, those roof Yeah. Bars, honestly, anyone annoys you, let me know. Five quid, I'll go outside the house and just floodlight them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free of charge. Free, yeah, a fiver for an hour and I'll just do it through that front window. Quickly guys, I want to show you this BMW M3 which is on car vertical because if you haven't signed up, you need to because if you're buying a car, you can save yourself so much money when buying a car and also when selling a car as well. As you can see, this car has damage. If you were going to buy it, you would have just seen that it has damage and they could have the car advertised as good as new, but then you come across the photos and you realize that this was not good as new and it has been fixed. It brings up all the VIN number, absolutely everything. Uh, if it's been stolen, it came up that this car wasn't stolen, which is always good. The countries that they've searched for to see where this car has been, the last known mileage, it had a last known mileage at 18 miles precisely. Um, so yeah, it basically was also marked as an insurance write-off. Now, if you were going to go and buy this car, you would have known that you've just bought a car that's, right, that's written off. But if you found this out before, you would have saved yourself a hell of a lot of money. It even shows when it's manufactured, when it's registered, um, etc. when it was actually put on sale. It's absolutely ridiculous. So what you guys need to do is you need to make sure you're signed up and you use my code Archie because it will save yourself a lot of money when we go through these photos. It's in a very, very bad way. So go and enjoy. Like I say, use my code Archie. Do you know how to get the suspension down? Do you know how to do that? Uh, I don't actually. Don't worry. I've well, never done it on my uh, don't worry. driving mode. Yeah, probably. You driving probably mode. Off-road or something. Driving mode. I have this, which is the all-new uh, V8 version, which is very, very good. And, well, I'll tell you now, the 530 is a good car. Mate, it's mega. It's that V8. A great, the, great bit of kit. You used that engine. You used to have it in your car. Just detune that one. What car? X5M. Oh, same engine, is it? I believe it's the I didn't even realise. I'm going to talk to you about stats. We've gone onto Google, we found them. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know anything about stats. But anyway, we are going to talk to you about the differences between the Defender and also the Range Rover Sport. This is a V8 Range Rover Sport, so it is slightly more expensive and faster, etc. But the pros and the cons of a diesel and also a petrol. Right, what we know is tell us first about your car and then we'll tell you more about yeah, so I mean, I'm going to talk about fuel economy because that's my top trump at the moment. Okay. I had the V8 and even driving in eco mode on the motorway, I couldn't get it above about 17, right? This is an average of 32 to the gallon. So I'm not good at maths, but for argument's sake, double the mass to the gallon, right? And do you notice it when you're driving it? Mate, massively. I spent half of my life at the pump before. Yeah. Yeah. So for me... I wonder where you went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Disappeared for a few months. Actually, we won't cover that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so fuel economy, massive, and to be fair, I just enjoy being up high. I don't feel like I need performance for that. I got the GT3 for a bit of fun motorbike. So for me, that's really, really good. Performance-wise, I don't feel slow in it. It's the D250 diesel, 67.6. It's not bad. Back in the day, that was a GTI Golf. Yeah. So 7.6 for a diesel, and it's um, 
570 newton meters of torque, which for anyone interested in cars, it feels quicker than it is because the torque just gives you that surge, which right. diesels are known for. Sergio. So it doesn't feel Sergio Tashini. Yes. Sergio torque, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't feel slow. I've never got in it and thought, oh, this feels really slow or sluggish or felt like I need more, more power. So performance-wise, yes, it's quicker things, but balancing performance and cost, I'm happy, really happy with it, mate. Okay. And but it doesn't make a noise. V8. Do you, do you, what do you, what you, where's your heart swinging? You've had the V8, what do you I, prefer? Better fuel or I, do you prefer? I'm happier on, from this, from my use of it, I'm happier in this from an engine perspective. Okay. 90 versus 110, the only thing I will say is this situation. Okay. Which you're going to win on. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't fit my cat in there. Didn't even have a cat. Yeah. But. Well, I had an argument with my missus and I couldn't even fold her in there after an argument. <laughs> And she's really flexible. I couldn't even put her in the boot. Oh, and that's the problem at that point. And that's the problem, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing I do is just shove her in there. She's really... <laughs> but no, yeah. jokes aside, so it's got a small boot, but again, the seats go down, so... Looks really good. Mate, I think the 90s a better looking shape on yeah, this. It is. It's less boxy. And I would say the 90 for me looks better than my 110. That looks really, really good. Right, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about stats of the all-new V8. Obviously, the SV is still to come. That is uh, not too far away. That will be here next year. My car, I did have one of these ordered, but can't because I got the SV coming. This is uh, 0-60 in 4.3 seconds. It has 523 brake horsepower, rough miles per gallon. I've just been driving it for the past hour, and it's probably, like James said, you're probably going to do 15. Yeah, I think if you sit on a motorway sensibly, you probably nudge up the higher teams. Really yeah, I know. I, I did notice it, but I had the SVR before, and to be honest with you, I love these cars, and I think they are absolutely brilliant. So obviously, the Defender, this, his engine is going to be more fuel efficient. If you're going to buy it, you know it's going to be bad on fuel, but it, you also, you are wafting along. This has the all sort of nice blacked out interior. We have the very nice screen just here. Do you have the screen in your one? Yes, I've got a screen in mine, yeah. Okay, good. Yep. So you've got all of that. Interior-wise, uh, you're going to be shocked by mine. Okay, we have a very nice sunroof as well. Got, uh, one, of them. got one of them. Got pan roof. Oh, can we see the fuel economy, what I was doing on this? Yeah, you will be. How do we check it? Here we go. Come on, quickly. Stalk. On sec. Hey, wait for it. Oh, my! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Ah! Turn it off. Quick, turn it off. Where's the button? You can't do that anymore. That is. Has, has Banff Mortgages seen that? <laughs> that isn't funny. Wait, do you know what I like? You are, you are really. Yeah, it was, yeah. This is better. This is better. Oh, I mean, 14.3. Honestly, I'm so sorry. Because that is horrible. That, no one deserves that. Come on, take, wow. us, take us into your one. Okay, come on. Come on. I want to. We're, we're, we're doing town as well. That is a good. That was not staged as well. That is perfect. Pop right. In. I'm going to come in. <laughs> come on then. Watch wow. Out. Look at this. When I told you it's one of one, I wasn't wow. joking. This is a fully customized Apache Defender. One of one. And do you know what I love, Archie? Oh, made in made Britain. Britain. Love it. And that's what I fell for. Just it everything. It's so nice, isn't it? It's just so different. Completely retrimmed. Because that's the one thing I would say about the Defender you would have got me on if I didn't have this Apache one. Yeah. Interior because they are a bit basic. I, I like this screen though. Mate, it is sick in here. I like the screen. It is sick. Uh, fuel economy jokes aside, is actually on 28.2. Yep, we can see it, confirmed. 28.2. So again, we do the mass, 14, 28. It's double as efficient. Double? Yeah. Smints, leave me alone. Tick oh, do you know? Tic -tacs. Do you want one? Yeah, I'd have one. Oh, they're unreal. They're unbelievable. Ego, I usually do a whole box. Yeah, I know, so do I. Pan roof. Yeah, there Check. is a pan roof as Let well. Let me know. Does that, does that open or not? Yeah, of course it does. What do you want? Um, one second, I need to do this. There you go, there's my wow. pan roof. Nice. So that's isn't just it? the blind, and I'll leave the roof open. But yeah, mate, honestly. Great size car. It's just robust, funky, cool. It's just sick, isn't it? And obviously, there's a price difference between the two cars. They are different. You can't compare them in their own right. Oh, we need you price comparison as well. Oh, yeah, and noise, because that obviously has a sense of drama. When you turn that on, it's like. Mm -hmm. This, there's no point turning on because it's a diesel. It's not intended to be loud. But I have got something changing on that, which no doubt we may come on to in another video. But this will sound. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to make this sound better than that. You don't doubt me either. Well, I well, come along. You will come along. I'll come along. It's a video. And let's talk about as well price comparison. How much is this car, by the way? North of eighty. But what I would say. Okay, well, then I want to know how much this car will be on the market. Yeah, eighty or thousand pounds. But eighty. Yep. Yeah. But what I would say about that is, what's amazing about these and what people do, you can buy the commercial one, which is a van. Yes. You can run it through your business as a van, completely legitimate. Mm -hmm. It's got no back seats. 
Yep. And the patch of I'm amazing. I've seen them. They look sick. There's nothing illegal with putting the seats in, and it's an easy retrofit, and that is what people are doing. I like where they're going with that. So if you bought a hundred thousand pound one, yep. you get the VAT off through your business as a van. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's that? How many percentages is that? Twenty percent. What's twenty? What's twenty percent of a hundred? Twenty grand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Price comes down quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's some tax advantages. So honestly, really cool. I haven't gone for the commercial. I'm not running it through my business, but there's, there's so many ways of doing these that are cool, which you couldn't do with a sport, and that's another consideration. Very nice consideration. Thank and you. then the V8 Sport, roughly comparison, if that car I'm is. It's about 130, 140 yeah. they're going for. They're actually going for more in dealers, to be fair. They are holding their money quite well. The new SV is going to be north of 180 grand. Yeah, you you know. But I have that coming. And we'll... I've... Now I'm what? a bit behind you, but I've got an SV on order. Oh, there we go. Put a deposit down early. I'm a massive Range Rover fan. I'm actually a Defender fan as well. And I think what they are doing is absolutely brilliant with Range Rovers and everything yeah. else. And I just think they're products. always the best. Between Come on. us, we've got that the sport obviously which you've got for a bit yeah. and then I've got, I own the new range as well so you've got loads if, should we just round up the video which would you choose out of all three I'm always I am Mr Range Rover Sport so oh, that's I where Mr. I sit I am Mr Full Fat Range Rover I had the long wheelbase yeah, you and are. then I've got the new shape and the new shape Vogue is another level so what but are you going to pick? To me, oh, he's going to go with this. I can no, I can justify having both because they're totally different. Defender '90s, like your town car. Okay, right? we don't we don't need you to go on like you're on Jonathan Ross. We just need you to Who's know what. Jonathan Ross got you. <laughs> we yeah? just need to know yeah. what are you going to pick? Well, no, no one's making me pick because I've got no, both. No, no, I'm making you I've pick. Chosen. Right, one pick, one, three, two, one. Defender. I feel like I've betrayed myself. There we go. Right. Just because it's so cool and unique. Shut there up. we go. Well, I hope you're forced to get to a shut up. I'm trying to end the video. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you need to shut up on your own video. Unreal. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you check out James Apache, uh, who have obviously done a very good job on that. Land Rover, very kind of them to lend me the V8. And uh, hopefully we'll be back for more Land Rover, Range Rover content There's soon. There's a lot more to come. So yeah, hopefully. Yeah, he's doing way I more. I mean, if I get invited or welcome back, please, please, please in, the, you know, in the comments do your thing. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, is it? Uh